Now, if you get a businessman in, what's his normal general feeling? What does he want to know most? He just puts his poem out and lets me read it, and that's all there is to it. That's right. He doesn't really have any specific course, ideas his, in mind. Or? Well, his friends often have a lot of fun because I let you know right. at a big table, if you're reading a lot of people, they have a, they sort of joke among themselves about it. You know? But they don't want to know about their romantic life. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, uh, if you right. don't tell them, they'll ask me about it. <laughs> what about mine? Oh, you're, you're romantic. <laughs> oh, you're quite romantic. Am I really? You're the kind that would tell your wife you liked her once in a while and things of that kind. And oh, your friends, yeah. you'd tell them that you liked them and things of that sort. What do you no, mean you're by romantic. that, Dorothy? You're right. outwardly romantic. <laughs> I see. Yes. What else do you see in this poem? Well, mine? you have a nice long lifeline there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. My golly, way up in the 80s. You have what we call a, a, an artistic hand. Mm -hmm. You have an honest little finger there. Okay. In other words, uh, you would go right down the line and tell people pretty exact. Uh, what you what you thought about a thing? Yet I still have a pretty decent romantic life. You very yes, oh, and that if doesn't you fit, but yes. go right ahead there, right? well, and and now you are of the mental world. Okay. In other words, as long as you deal with the people that use their heads, you're just fine. You that's no enigma mm -hmm. to you. You would take a business and make a mental thing out of it. You would have to, okay. because that is the way you have to work. Now you have a mixed heart and headline, which is very bad. A mixed heart mixed. and headline. Yes, you're always mixed up. When you, when you do a thing, you wonder if your heart's telling you to do it or if your head is telling you to do it. I so see. between the two, you have kind of a hard time of it. Well, Dorothea, that's all very interesting, and I really am happy that I got this assignment because if my colleague had been sent out and you would have read his poem, we'd have never got it on the air. Mr. Robinson, mm. It Really that bad? You wouldn't believe.